my son and I, who's 13, uh, were at the Steak and Burger event, and um, next to me was a young boy, and you know, I'll just I'll just say his name was John, just to protect the innocent. But John made the comment after the bikes were were raffled off that uh, and awarded that he he made the comment that he hoped he had better luck next year um, after not winning a bike, and and John has never had a new bike. He's never had a bike. He's in fourth grade, um, I was traveling home with my son, and he, he said, Dad, he said, we, we got to get John a bike. And so we talked a little bit about it, and I, I said, well, let me ask Joe, the club, club director, some questions about John. And I asked Joe, and tell me John's story. And John's dad, who's no longer in the picture, is a drug dealer. His, his mom's a recovering heroin addict. Um, John needs the club every day. He's here five days a week, um, really incredible kid. And the kids, it's having a, a huge um, impact on his life. And I asked Joe, I said, Joe, I want to give, give the family some money to buy a bike. And Joe said, no. He said, you need to give a gift card. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go buy him a bike at Kmart. John got his bike. And, and what was really cool was, was the, this thank you note that I got from John. And... Um, it just said, thank you for everything. I knew you were a nice person from the start. Joe and I ordered a bike from Kmart. I can't wait to get it. It comes in three to five days. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Well, I'm pleased to say I've seen John four or five times since then. And, and um, this, it's this type of mentoring. This, this young man would not have done this on his own. It's this type of mentoring that happens in our club. And I couldn't be happier to do something like this for, for the kids that, that need it the most. The fact that we have this in our community is only going to pay dividends in the future. These, are, these, these kids are our future.